Ready? And here we go. In the ecosystems of learning, where can people of all ages continue to learn besides at a school, university, or at home? At your local library. In the libraries of my home state of Kansas and across the country, learning has traditionally been acquired through the reading of books. Yet libraries are much, much more than books and are now the community hub. People of all ages can take classes, explore worlds unknown, join community discussions, even learn a language. Dr. David Lankes calls this libraries facilitating knowledge creation in our communities. Let's see what this looks like. In Hiawatha, the teen leadership created and ran their own cafe and art gallery last spring. Through the Library Center for Lifelong Learning, library patrons experience computer, eBay, art, crafting, gardening, and baking classes, as well as knitting, scrabble, cooking, and book clubs. A variety of programs are held year-round, including experiencing mountain climbing gear, learning about GPS tracking glaciers, and holding GPS scavenger hunts. Even the governor's wife visited to support Read to Preschoolers Week. In Salina, the Community Learning and Skill Sharing, or CLASS program, promotes personal growth and builds community through music, massage, exploring nature, finance, dancing, language, cooking, personal business, and reflexology classes. To quote the CLASS mission, taking class for a spin makes, means that you are ready to try something new. Studies show that the more new things people try, the sharper your mind and body will be. People who are adventurous and willing to stretch their minds and bodies have less stress, fewer illnesses, aches and pains, and are happier. In Linwood, retired men in the community tackle deep philosophical questions at the library each week, such as what is the nature of good and evil, and is our political system broken? The men debate these issues in a collegial and respectful manner, attempting to come to a consensus. The, re the 6x6 Ready to Read program is a statewide initiative in Kansas libraries emphasizing six skills for children to develop before they learn to read. This exciting project includes opportunities for learning spaces and libraries, bags, lists, activities, book sets, and more. In Junction City, the library participates in the community education program, LIFE, where people share their knowledge, exchange ideas, and pursue their interests through lifelong learning. Touch a truck is but one example of a LIFE event. At the Topeka and Shawnee County Library, lifelong learning is on full display. In the nonfiction section, the library has built neighborhoods around a variety of topics, including health, weddings, and travel. Goodbye, Dewey. These neighborhoods include library materials, resources, bags, and multimedia curated around these topics. Programs at the library are quite popular, including multi-generational trivia nights, and exhibits, galleries, and related programs are available, including a recent exhibit, Call of Duty, Kansans, and World War II. Local food is a trend in Lawrence, and for Kansas Day celebrations, the library held a program where community members could hear from local ranchers discussing animal husbandry and sustainable food while enjoying free tasting portions of their meat. The Kansas Reed's choice this year was Our Boys, the story of a high school football coach of one of the best small town teams in America. The coach, his son, Holton's own high school coach, and the book's author came to Holton Library for an evening program with the community. Many new faces were seen that night. The State Library of Kansas offers a talking book service to those who can't see to read or physically cannot hold a book. This service has been a vital part of the community for those, who cannot read, for those to continue to learn even when books are no longer physically accessible. School and university libraries are offering opportunities for learning outside the traditional research, literacy instruction, and studying elements, offering spaces for collaboration, discussions, music, and poetry performances. Libraries are no longer quiet. U Media Labs are new, starting at the Chicago Library and beginning to appear in several other libraries across the country. These are spaces where kids and teens can create and encounter multimedia in a variety of ways, learning important skills in the process. These labs are changing the possibilities. Of course, libraries do offer spaces for reading, from chairs and tables to benches to big stuffed bears. Kids can even take their shoes off and get comfortable. And e-reader and e-book classes are becoming more widely available. In Baser, through the Mission Wolf Library Program, 700 community members had the opportunity to learn about and encounter live wolves, learning how to interact with these incredible creatures. The library hosted the program as part of a continuing series on habitats and the environment. We could be here all day talking about all the other ways libraries are helping their communities grow through lifelong learning support 
including maker spaces, performance halls, history dialogues, touchscreen interfaces, and summer reading programs. But to end, I'd like you to consider this statement from Protect New York Libraries. Throughout our lives, we seek knowledge and information. Throughout our lives, we learn. Throughout our lives, we turn to our libraries to continue learning. How is your local library doing this? Are you supporting them? Thank you. Yeah.